I look at what I've done before, I ask myself what can I do better. I'm, I'm more or less like competing with myself. My main motive is for people to like it and be happy about the project and then see it as something worth their time and their money. I think that it's gone beyond our normal day-to-day -day in the kind of movies that we see. More or less, you know, it draws attention to what we should do in details that, that, that matter. For a long time, you know, we've lacked this in, in our movies, and I think that this, this would really um, get people thinking and, and spare people on in their next productions to really pay attention to that aspect. Yeah. In the Ghanaian film industry, we have not really shot a movie like this, a movie that you build a whole community. For anybody that reads the script for the first time, or for anybody that watches the movie, when they hear, oh, the whole community broke apart or divided because of a disagreement over chicken and egg. And now there's a whole generation of this beef and people don't even know when this thing even um, started. Start not to mix with an adult today. The fact that the story addresses um, the subject of how we coexist, so much happenings in the world um, where there's so much intolerance for personal choices, for uh, people's culture or, or way of life, um, this, this story speaks volume. If you see a Vera or anything belonging to them on your land, remember to blow your whistle. In the long run, two people, one from each side, find love and miss their crisis, and that's the love story. This film is different. This tells us that it's possible, you know, to make your dream production happen in Ghana.